Hello, everybody. It's Jesse here and wanted to share a really quick tip on the topic of presenting and posturing pricing for your prospects. Holy cow, that was a lot of peas. Anyway, that's a tongue twister. So uh, I know if, if you're listening in, you probably had a pricing conversation at some point with a prospect. Maybe you had one that totally bombed or didn't resonate uh, or the prospect backpedaled or you never heard from them again. There's all kinds of, of course, you know, ways that a pricing conversation can go sideways. So there's something, there's a question that I implemented a couple of years ago that's really helped smooth those conversations out, make them a little less awkward and make it easier to understand where the prospect's head's at. And it's a really simple question. And that is, does this align with what you expected? So how the flow usually goes in a conversation where I'm presenting pricing, besides the fact that I usually bring some form of visual and I usually try to back up my pricing proposal with some other data. So it might be usage based, it might be based on seats, uh, it might be based on some number that they provided that they can anchor back to the specifics of their use case or the specific, uh, specifics of their situation where I can make the pricing feel a lot more concrete versus putting some random arbitrary number up on a screen and saying, that's what this costs uh, without backing that up with some formula or some set of data that shows why it costs that. So those are kind of the table stakes first, get those in place. But once you have some data to back up your pricing proposal, uh, and you're able to present that in a way that's visually pleasing uh, and easy to understand, I always recommend, of course, as everyone else does, pausing, shutting up, muting your phone, whatever you got to do, stop talking. Let the prospect review that proposal. Let them take in everything that you're saying and think about the, the number that's in front of them uh, and the data set that's in front of them to back that number up. So don't say anything. But if you do need to, to break back into conversation, the question that I always ask is, did th does this price align with what your expectations were? And then stop talking again. If you do that, you sort of open the prospect up to really thinking out loud. Okay, well, no, this doesn't align. Or yes, it does align. Or this is under, this is over. You're going to get all kinds of really great feedback from that question. Uh, prospects are going to go all over the place. Again, they could say, well, that's more than we expected to pay. That's more than the budget we had. That's more than our CFO is going to approve. But they might also say, wow, that's underneath what we thought. Uh, that's less than we thought we were going to pay. and that's or, or that's right in line with what we'd expected. And we appreciate you putting this together. So that is a very short tip for you. Uh, as far as questions you can ask to help move the pricing conversation along, get that much needed feedback from that pricing conversation and walk away from that call feeling really good about uh, the, the conversation overall. So once again, that question is, does this align with what your expectations were? Uh, there's a number of ways you can ask it, but that's the, the kind of the way that I tend to go back to is, you know, does this align with the amount you'd expected or does this align with your expectations? Uh, so there it is. Hope your pricing calls go well. And thank you guys for listening. Yeah.